Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to continue talking about using the Elgato Stream Deck with the TriCaster. This time showing you how to control macros with the Stream Deck. Macros are ways for you to record a list of actions on the TriCaster and then play them back with a touch of a button. Which button? Well, a button on the Stream Deck, of course. Making the Stream Deck a simple but effective tool for your productions. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so we're going to start off today in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And before I can add a, a button to my Stream Deck to, tr to trigger a macro, I need to determine which macro I want to use. So, uh, let's go ahead and go up to the top of the screen here and click on Macros. And go to Configure Macros. And you can assign this to uh, any of the system macros that you have on the machine, or you can use one of your custom macros if you've built one. Uh, if you need to review on how to build macros, check out our tutorials on youtube.com slash newtechinc. Uh, I can, you can do a whole lot of powerful things with macros, okay? Uh, but just to go ahead and review that, let me just go ahead and hit play and show you what that does. So it brings up my input two on program. Brings up my lower third. And then in a few seconds, that lower third will go away. So it's a very simple macro. There it is. Boop. Done. Okay. So uh, if we go back into macros, let me show you where you would go to assign this. So essentially, within your macros, you can trigger those by clicking this play button, but that's pretty annoying. Well, let's go ahead and assign it to another button, like the button on my stream deck. So what you would do uh, is you go down to external triggers and where it says you have these four different options for triggers, you can put them on any of these. Just uh, click, uh, click to set trigger and now it is listening for that command. Okay, so uh, let's go over to my desktop where I have the Stream Deck software already loaded. And I already have the new tech uh, down download uh, up here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab this button, which is trigger macro, and drop it into any of these buttons. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and drop that in there. And then there are a few vital pieces of information that you're going to need to put in here. All right, uh, first is going to be the name of the macro, which will how it will appear on your button. So when I do that, you'll see that it are, is already in there. Now keep in mind you do have a limited amount of space here, so uh, keep the uh, things short or just keep it the way it is up to you. Uh, next thing you'll need to put in your device's IP address, which if you need to review that, let's go back to the TriCaster here. Uh, you can go up to the Notification Center and it'll show up right there. So it's 1028.310. Okay, so we'll go to 1028.3.10, right? put in the trigger's name. It doesn't need to match what you have within the TriCaster. This is just for the Stream Deck side of things right here. Okay, and then for the username and password, again, this is the username and password for live panel, if you have that set up. Uh, if you don't have, uh, it, typically it's gonna be admin, admin for the username and password, but if you have something else uh, in there, uh, that's when you need to put that in like that. But if you're not even running live panel, then cool, we'll just throw the admin, admin in there, you should be good to go. All right, and now let's move back over to the TriCaster, and we need to tell the TriCaster to listen for this command. Let me go ahead and click that. So now it says it's listening, and now I'm going to just press the button that I have on my Stream Deck. Boom, there you go. Check it out. So now here at the bottom where it says external triggers, you'll see that it, that says net colon SD, and then today's presentation, which is how that is seeing it from the Stream Deck side of things. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset this to something else. And I'll go ahead and press that button. Today's presentation. Boom. Goes up to input two. Here comes my lower third. And then that lower third will fade away. So you can do this on macros that you've already built. You can do it on uh, uh, macros that uh, come with the system. It's really up to you how you want to do this, but it's a great addition to the toolkit to help you build your productions within TriCaster. So I highly recommend playing around with this, and of course, as usual, have some fun. There you have it, another great way to use the Elgato Stream Deck for your productions. More videos on how to use this wonderful, helpful tool in the weeks to come. 
Till then, you can find more tutorial videos like this one on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash newtechinc. To find out more information about New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. For formalized New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And if you're a TriCaster operator, be sure to submit your work for the New Tech TriCaster Director of the Year Awards at newtech.com slash T-D-O-T-Y. And as always, if you're posting your work with New Tech Gear on social media, tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are up to. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.